Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. Today I'm going to show you how to free up some breaker space on a panel that's full of breakers and you have no space available and how you can combine circuits and get that free space you need for another additional breaker. Let's get started. Okay, I've got a panel here that's completely full of breakers. There's no room to add any more breakers. I need to combine some circuits together to free up some space. I have 20 amp single pole breakers all the way down here. That whole batch right there. I got a 50 amp double pole and a 30 amp double pole. So I'm going to combine circuits on this side of the panel. This side is not much I can combine, but not, not really much I can combine on this side. This I have plenty I can combine. First of all, each of these single pole breakers take up a single slot, slot. And you can get a tandem breaker. Okay, this has a single 20 amp uh, throw on that breaker. But you can get a tandem breaker that takes up the same spot that takes two circuits, either 15 or 20 amp. I'm gonna go 15 amps right now because these are all 15 amp capacity anyway. So by taking these two single pole breakers, combining it to the one of these, I free up one space. I need two spaces for a 30 amp double pole breaker so I'm going to combine these two on one of these and these two on another one of these. That frees up two slots for a double pole breaker. That's option A. Okay. Option B would be to take a 30 amp or 50 amp double pole breaker, which is a double breaker, it takes two slots, and combine that with two single pole breakers that take up one slot each. This is called a quad or a triplex breaker. Okay, I call them quads. Okay, this one happens to be I got a 30 amp 20 amp. So if I took this 30 amp and these two 20 amps and combined them together on the one breaker, I now free up two spaces for another double pole breaker to go right there. That's option B. So you can do the tandem breakers which is what I'm going to do, and you can do quads to replace a double pole and two singles. This is cheaper to do here. Right now, Square D, this is a Square D panel. Square D is shut down pretty much with COVID for the last two years. They're really behind in production. And so prices have doubled and tripled on, on, on um, Square D breakers. And so what I'm going to do is I happen to find, I couldn't find a quad that wasn't more than, you know, normally these go for about $20, $30. Right now they're around the $60 range. I'm not gonna do that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use the tandem breakers. I happen to find two 15s to combine these four circuits together. These are all less than 15 amp uh, circuits, so I really needed to go with a 15 amp anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. I went ahead and pre-numbered these to correlate to the numbers on these identification markers so I can identify which circuits is which. I went ahead and pre-marked uh, those with wire markers. You can get these stickers. I use them all the time in my electrical work. And you can identify your breakers so that you can keep uh, track of what's what for your circuits. I pray that you are blessed that you know him who is the author of life.